Hola gamers. Hola jugadores. Today we're making a Ross con pollo. A Ross con pollo. But this time with a different recipe than last time. Mother, would you like to list off our ingredients? I would. Me hate. Okay, first, here is our rice. We are using some medium grain rice. Then to season our chicken, this is the special one right here. Saison. Good choice. Al, Good choice. Al blandador. Sazonado. Okay, then we're using um, a half teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of onion powder, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. Then we are using this instead of salt. My pollo seasoning. Yep. Okay, this is also uh, from Chef Marito. No, don't list off you can the find brand. This, you can find this in Winco or any uh, Mexican aisle. No, they're not sweet. Then we're using pepper, poultry seasoning, and some Mrs. Dash. You need to refill yourself some okay. black pepper. Why? Because we're not sponsored. So what? You can't just say, hey, here's all these... Winco in pepper. Just for you. <laughs> just start again from here. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm using some pollo seasoning instead of salt. Regular pepper. Some... Uh, yellow cat Mrs. Dash, because that's good for chicken, and some poultry seasoning. And then also, when I put in my water in the chicken, um, you can either use this uh, pollo thing, caldo that I like, or we have recently found this. I know I'm not sponsored or anything, but this better than bouillon is worth its weight in gold. You could use one teaspoon of this instead of two teaspoons of that and it just the flavor is so much better. It's like you roasted a chicken yourself. I gotta agree with that Miss Nerd Fighter. Thank you Mr. Gamer. trying to season the chicken now. I have a blend of different spices. I have cumin, um, saison, um, some Mrs. Dash, some onion powder, garlic powder, and salt and pepper. Now I'm heating up the oil over medium heat so we can cook this chicken. First, we're gonna season it up. So lead us through that cooking process, Mom. <laughs> well, first, you get your oil in a pan, just a little bit, maybe three tablespoons. And then you put your chicken thighs skin down. Huh. And we're going to cook them for, oh, seven to nine minutes on each side. Seven to nine minutes. Yeah, because we're just going to get a really good sear and some color on them now. And I have a big family, so I have one we call the hungry one. And that boy put away some chicken. So that's why I got to make this whole big pan of chicken. Oh, there we go. Yes. Ooh. I don't know how it works. Okay, wait, here we go. Alright. 
So that will cook at medium heat because you want it low. So it will cook nice and slow. You want like a, a simmer texture to when you're cooking. Interesting. Okay. So then we'll let that brown and then we will start to uh, get the rest of the stuff together. Of course. Now that it's been cooking for a while, now what we're going to do is we're just going to flip it over. Now that the chicken is all flipped, now we're just going to let it cook on the other side too. Hey Nick, can we see what it looks like? Yeah, sure. Come here, cameraman. Cameraman John. Here's what the chicken looks like. As you can see, you want it to have kind of a golden brown texture. Not gonna lie, looking at it and smelling it, it smells great. And we're gonna cook it for five minutes on this side instead of the six or seven. Now it's been five, around six minutes, and look at that. That's perfectly cooked, perfectly seasoned chicken. Now we're just gonna take it off. And let's turn down the um, burner to medium low. Good idea. Now that all the chicken has been removed, we move on to the next phase. You want to show them what that is, Mom? Sure. In this next phase, we are going to saute the rice. Saute we'll, the rice? And we're going to use all this nice chicken fat to saute it in. So we take two cups of our rice. And we are going to get this nice and brown. Are we toasting it? We are. All this fond, which is what you call chicken fat, is going to work nicely. We don't have to add oil or anything. We'll just be using this all natural. Look at that. Most of it's already changing color. What so we're just going to let this brown on medium low and just let it simmer along and toast up. This is going to take probably, I don't know, uh, 10 to 15 minutes. What do you want to do frequently so it doesn't change the taste? You want to stir, stir, stir. Make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom, which I, I won't. You won't have much of a problem because there's so much chicken fat in here. But it'll be fine. You could just mm -hmm. let it simmer up, and then after we get a little bit of brown going on the rice. A little golden color we will put the onions in and then the garlic and we will let those become translucent and add flavor to this oil which is gonna make us a nice gravy broth with to go with the chicken what you doing now mother adding in the onion. What else are you adding in at this time? Nothing. I'm going to add in garlic a little bit later after the onions had a chance to get going in here. But I only added half of the onion. Now I quartered the other half of the onion and I'm just going to let that cook 
in the juice when I put the chicken back in. Cool. Now we're ready to add some garlic. Garlic? Fresh two cloves of garlic. And we're just gonna let this keep going, right? For how much longer? Oh, uh, maybe three minutes. What's happening now? All right, now it is time. Time for what? We're gonna add some tomatoes. How strange! But it's fire roasted with medium green chilies inside. Hmm. Oh, it's making the rice so happy. See how happy it is? It's so happy. Do we add anything else to this part? See, si, senor. We oh. are gonna add water, but I'm gonna pour the water through this pan here so I get every bit of fire roasted tomato root. Goodness. Have we added any Out of chicken that. broth yet? We have not. We are still at the tomate stage right here. Alright. And we add a little bit of water like this. Oh, we need at least two cups of, or four cups of water for this. Two cups of rice. You see what I'm saying, man? We're going to pack that water with flavor because I don't know where you get your water but where I get my water it doesn't come flavored so I got flavor and this <laughs> okay let me let you see inside oh look at that golden goodness in there okay coming in there Let's see. First, let's see what this tastes like, okay? Mm -hmm. What if it doesn't even need anything? What if it's just beautiful like this? Let's see. Mm -hmm. A little chicken in. We need some bouillon. That's kind of bland. Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this golden concentrated. We're not sponsored. Goodness. I need one, like another cup of water. Well, Miss Spider, if I didn't know any better, you were trying to take over my chair. You know, sometimes you just gotta stir and taste and stir some more and then put the chicken back in there all right we're gonna see if this broth is where we need it to be yes mom i'll do the dishes for you because i love you don't make me kill you nicholas you better get your ass in the kitchen for once in your fun Look at that. It's cooking so well. Ha ha ha. It's water. You like water? Yeah. A rose concord will be done in around 25 seconds. So we're just going to wait that out. You can see how steamy it's gotten. But that's good. You want it to steam so it can cook. 
there we go. Let's take a look at the final product. Ooh, boy. That looks real good. Alright, turn off the burner and leave the lid on mm -hmm. for 10 minutes. And now for 10 minutes, we're going to let it steam, let the rice just pick up all the broth extra. It's already been 10 minutes. And look at that. How beautiful. Now we're gonna start the plating. You take one piece of chicken, you take a spatula, and you just grab a bunch of rice and other things. Look at how good that looks. And now we serve it up to one lucky customer. All right, final verdict on me and my mother's arroz con pollo. Dad, was it better than last time? Mother, mother. Oh. Is it better than last time? 